Hi Darkroom Core users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this short video we're going to go over five tips or hidden gems within Darkroom Core that a lot of users don't know about but can be really powerful and really helpful in your workflow. The first thing we're going to talk about is the ability to print divider lines. Let's say you're printing two 5x7s or eight wallets. A lot of times the images will kind of bleed into each other so you don't know where one begins and the other one ends. Under uh, your setup tab and printer options and then common options you can check the box for divider lines and then click OK. The next on the list is the uh, ability to change the description of a package. So if you're using your rec uh, the receipt option um, and you're printing out a specific print size but you're using it for let's say a specialty product um, you can change the description. So let's go into our package groups. I have one set up right here. And under my keychain, I'm actually printing a three and a half by eight for the keychain. This could be a four by six. But on the receipt, I don't want it to say three and a half by eight. I would like it to say keychain. I'm gonna double click on this and rename it. So that way the receipt actually shows what the customer is purchasing. The next on the list uh, is going to be uh, a two-part um, change so you can see how this actually works. I have an 8x20 that I use. Um, it's 8x20 print, but it uses a template with multiple images on it. I'm going to go ahead and apply that template. Then click OK. And now from the photo workshop, Whenever I add that package, it's a precious portrait. I'm going to click one. I can toggle open that print item. And you can see right here, two and three are, are have not been populated. One has the image. So I can drag photo two and photo three in there. And it has updated my print. The fourth thing on the list is the ability to edit sepia. If you right click on, uh, well let's click on sepia first. And it kind of gives you an older, somewhat orange print. If um, One of the things I like is, I like black and white prints, but I don't want them to be completely grayscale. With sepia you have the option of right clicking on it and adjusting the saturation. I like to bring it down to about seven and then click save and now rather than being a uh, more orange print it's actually a black and white more similar to a fiber based print and you can see the difference between black and white and then now the warm black and white the last tip we have is the ability to search by file name let's go ahead and uh, right click on an image and view show file names. If we click F2 on our keyboard it will pull up this option where we can search for uh, a string of characters and let's say we want to find 4217 Th this one right here we we'll just type in the last few digits 217 and then click find and it selected the image. Where this is really helpful is when you have, um, when you're using, let's say, barcode, pre-printed barcode cards, and you take a picture and you scan it to uh, apply that number to the file name, you can then scan that card again to retrieve the image. So, um, or if you're uh, on your order form, uh, you have a file name, you can click F2 and just type in the last few digits of the file name and it'll pull up the image. That's the five tips. I hope this has been helpful and thank you very much for watching.